Hey, good morning. I'm meteorologist Cheetah Craft tracking thunderstorms that are starting to develop right now, and this is going to continue on and off throughout the day. So let me walk you through the radar. You know, right now, if you're in Tomball, Spring, Cypress, Jersey Village, these are all areas that are seeing some moderate to even briefly heavy downpours and also maybe picking up a few lightning strikes as well. A notice on I-10 westbound, Weston Lakes to Foster to Orchard, Katy right now picking up some heavier downpours. And then I take you from Sugarland to Thompson's. There's Richmond, Pleak. Notice some of the lightning strikes that are also popping up. This is an indication that these thunderstorms are growing in intensity. Now, this is a live look on our radar across the loop and the beltway. Most of the rain right now draped across the city is fairly light, but those thunderstorms are going to be moving from the southwest to the northeast. So I am expecting those thunderstorms to kind of blanket the area. Then you may get a little bit of a break and then you'll see those those thunderstorms re-energize kind of on and off throughout the day today. Flood risk. So notice areas north of I-10 under a slight risk of high water spots. That's a level two out of four. Everywhere that you see shaded in green, that's a level one out of four. So most of us today are going to see the chance for a few high water spots. Keep your guard up. Keep the umbrella handy as well. Right through your lunchtime hour, notice the scattered showers kind of draped across the area. Two o'clock this afternoon, you know, if you're on carpool duty later today, I am expecting on and off rain and some of those downpours could be on the heavy side very much like I'm tracking this morning. Now once we get to seven or eight o'clock you may get a little bit of a break in some of the heavier downpours but then overnight thanks to that cold front we are going to see these thunderstorms reorganize yet again but it moves out of here a little bit earlier than I previously thought. I think now about 6 7 a.m. tomorrow we're trending drier. It's going to be mainly for those early morning hours, think 1 to 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, where we could be picking up some stronger thunderstorms again. By Wednesday afternoon, that's about it. You get a little bit of a break. Temperature-wise, boy, we're going to cool things down thanks to this cold front. I mean, think 40s and 50s by Thursday and Friday. How much rain could we pick up today and tomorrow? I think anywhere from one inch of rain up to maybe even four inches of rain. It's those isolated totals that we pick three and a half or four inches up. That's where we could be looking at some high water spots tonight and also early tomorrow morning. We started off with a dense fog advisory. It's still in effect. Fog is still an issue and it's just going to be kind of a dreary, soupy day with on and off thunderstorms. Again, keep your umbrella handy today. Keep the umbrella handy early tomorrow. Then it kind of clears after about 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then it'll be about our temperature swing. Check it out. 40s and 50s Thursday, 40s, 60s for your Valentine's Day afternoon. Getting into Sunday, you're welcoming in 30s Sunday morning and President's Day Monday morning. We are going to continue to update you on TV, on the stream, and our social media platforms throughout the day.